Item number SCP-6386 Security Level 2 Containment Class Keta Disruption Class Eki Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures Any instances of SCP-6386 are to be located and surveyed by local personnel. Any anonymous objects found, designated SCP-6386 number, are to be brought and sent to Site-19 for studying before being stored in standard anonymous object storage. If possible, cell proprietors are to be interrogated on the nature of their SCP-6386 number instance, an SCP-6386-A, and subsequently amnesticize. Citywide garage cell days are to be created by Foundation agents in metropolitan centers to minimize the spread of SCP-6386 objects. On these garage cell days, MTF Kappa-18 Bargain Hunters is to search for SCP-6386 instances and extract any found 6386 number instances. Any instances of SCP-6386-A are to be reported and investigated from a distance. Description SCP-6386 is a phenomenon originally affecting a small percentage of garage sales, but now also affecting similar events. See recovered document 6386-1 for more details that have some form of advertisement at least three days beforehand. This includes yard sale signs, social media posts, and word of mouth communication. Upon activation of SCP-6386, an anonymous object will come into the seller's possession. Occasionally, these objects will be given to the subject by SCP-6386-A. However, in the majority of cases, they manifest in the subject's possession by unknown means. For a partial list of these objects, see Addendum 6386-2. All objects affected by SCP-6386 have a symbol located somewhere on them, appearing to be a winged codexus. SCP-6386-A is the designation for Caucasian male, roughly 2 meters in height with dark hair, all of skin and green eyes. X-ray analysis has revealed that SCP-6386-A skeletal system is within parameters for baseline humanity. SCP-6386-A is believed to be a powerful reality bender and or thaumaturgist. Some data suggests that SCP-6386-A may be a non-physical and or unreal entity. SCP-6386-A may occasionally leave a symbol on deposited objects. SCP-6386-A have also, on at least one occasion, left behind a legible document, labeled Document 6386-1. Addendum 6386-1. On December 8th, 2012, Researcher Johnson went to a garage sale in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city they were living in at the time in their free time, which was unknowingly affected by SCP-6386. When browsing, they noticed a standard foundation-issued miniature SRA, hereafter designated SCP-6386-1, along with a small group of assorted objects. Researcher Johnson recognized the object, having experience with reality-bending anomalies and feared a possible information breach. Johnson then turned on the recorder and attempted to talk to the proprietor of the sale, hereafter referred to as Mr. Beep. The following interview is listed below. Interviewed, Mr. Beep, interviewer, researcher Johnson. Begin log, 1045. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you? Actually, it's Mix. You know what? It doesn't matter. I just want you to know where you got this from. Just as with SCP-6386-1. I don't really know. I found it when I was going through my attic and decided to sell it. I think it's some sort of flashlight or something. I pressed a little button on the side and a funky looking green light came out of one end. Where exactly? A civilian accidentally makes contact with Johnson. Oops, uh, sorry about that. The civilian walks away. Anyway, uh, where exactly in the attic was it? In a steel box with a 
weird looking triangle on it? Maybe in a house safe or something? Um, no. Those are pretty odd questions. He looks at SCP-6386-1. Hey, is that worth something? Uh, no, no, no. It's, um, just a kid's toy. I used to have one like it when I was a kid. Johnson reaches into the pocket. Here, I'll give you five bucks for it. Mr. Beep, eyeing them suspiciously. Fifteen dollars. Ten. Well, you shall know how to bargain. Fine. Johnson hands him a ten dollar bill and exits the garage sale. End log. Ten fifty two. Closing statement. Researcher Johnson immediately contacted the foundation and reported to the object to security at Site 98. Head security officer Ryan Richardson engaged in cataloging all miniature SRAs at the site and found none missing. Agents were then sent to the garage sale and administered Class A amnestics to the civilians and Mr. Beep. Researcher Johnson was then administered the Foundation Pat on the Back Award for quick thinking and recovery of an SRA. Over the next four months, anomalous objects began appearing at garage sales across the United States, Canada, France, and redacted, all with similar circumstances to their appearances. Johnson began to suspect a connection and filed for the application of it as an SCP object. It was not approved until over the next six months when 36 objects were recovered, with of those objects having what is now known to be SCP-6386's symbol. Addendum 6386-2 SCP-6386-1 a miniature Scranton Reality Anchor, standard foundation issue, approximately 20 centimeters in length and 5 centimeters in circumference. Upon being turned on, it projects a beam of slightly green light that slightly increases the local Hume level. See Addendum 6386-1 for details. SCP-6386-2, a white standard issue pill bottle with the seal broken, a label on the front reads, more speed pills by double in a 12 PNT black comet sand font and SCP-6386 is simple right next to it. The bottle contains 30, update, 27 white unmarked pills. Their material composition appears to be roughly four parts glucose, one part methadone, one part bone, and two parts one unidentified substance. A part of consumption of one pill with approximately four liters of water, the subject will have their running speed increased by anywhere from 200% to over 1,000%. In one test, D38956 ran over 220 kilometers per hour. Found in a yard sale in St. Louis, Missouri on January 4th, costing Agent Jeffries $2.50. SCP-6386-14, a single standard short hook lockpick with a black handle and appears to be primarily composed of solidified mercury. How this is possible is currently poorly understood. SCP-6386 symbol is engraved on the handle. Upon being placed on a locking mechanism, SCP-6386-14 unlocks it via anomalous means. This includes mechanical locks, electronic locks, and locks of a thaumaturgic or anomalous nature. Retrieved by few agents Gertrude and Auric after the report of a set of break-ins to high security fault in Nantes, France on May 8th, 2015. Upon apprehension, the subject claimed he purchased SCP-6386-14 at a garage sale and that the proprietor had no idea where it could be from. SCP-6386-38, a wooden arrow approximately 75 centimeters with a stone arrowhead and standard Inuit watching, has SCP-6386-A's symbol on the shaft. Whenever placed next to an object that can launch a similar projectile, the arrowhead glows. In this glowing state, it will transport anything that it touches to an unknown location after reaching a speed of more than 30 kilometers per hour. 
Found on August 27th, 2017, by Dr. Sutter at a garage sale in Edmonton, Canada. The proprietor of the sale was selling, along with other things, her collection of Inuit antiques. Although she claimed to have no idea where SCP-638638 came from. SCP-638651, a large red encyclopedia with a cover in a tothen, along with glyphs in ancient Egyptian and Greek, along with two previously undocumented languages of unknown origin. The title reads, A Traveler's Guide to the Mystical. SCP-6386 symbol is branded on the back. The book contains numerous liturgical rituals and kinetoglyphs, most of which were previously undocumented by the Foundation. It also contains pictures and descriptions of anomalous creatures, four of which have SCP classifications. Obtained by Kappa-12 on the garage sale day in Portland, Oregon on February 19th, 2017, the proprietor of the cell claimed it was given to her by a nice young man outside of the Walmart when she was buying garage sale signs. She claimed he had dark hair and blue eyes, first known instance of SCP-6386-A. SCP-6386-126 An electrum amulet, roughly 8 centimeters in diameter, with her ruby in the center. Glyphs of an unknown language are etched on its surface. The cord is made from the sinew of a cis scoria da fide, Central Asian boar. Upon being fed 10 grams of living or non-living animal flesh, preferably human or pig, it will summon a number of either Tartanian, ducks, or Marquis-class demonic entities. Recovered by MTFs, Kappa-6, Bargain Hunters and Mu Zero, Maxwell's Demons, on March 30th, 2018. See Incident Report 6386 126 for more details. SCP 6386 370, a 1.5 meter tall marble bust of former U.S. President George Washington, matches no known depictions. The statue occasionally becomes animate and talks. In this state, it cannot be damaged and will repair all damage done to it. It will do so at random times or whenever a conversation about politics, government, patriotism, or U.S. history arises. It has been described as polite, open-minded, and nice of a bit patriotic by Foundation personnel. Found on August 9th, 2021 by Agents Brown and Andromeda in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. After hearing reports of a talking statue, the owner claimed to get it from a garage sale and didn't know it did that when I got it. All subject administered Class A amnestics. Addendum 63863. On May 27th, 2020, Site Director Pete Brown was visited by SCP 6386A on his way to his car from buying a plastic portable table for a yard sale scheduled to happen on May 30th, 2018. The interaction is documented below. Video evidence was confiscated by the Foundation and all security personnel were amnesticized. Interviewed, SCP-6386-A. Interviewer, Site Director Brown. Begin log, 1524. SCP-6386-A manifests 10 meters behind Director Brown. Hey, beep! Wait up! Director Brown turns around and sees SCP-6386-A. Do I know you? No, I have something for you, though. Who are you? Oh, just a messenger and a friendly protector. But if you keep asking questions like this, you're never going to get anywhere in life. Anyway, this is for you. He puts his hand behind his back again and pulls out an item. Director Brown's helium detector showed large fluctuations around his time. You guys have been great at finding my objects, so when I saw you were having a garage sale and it was my thousandth item, I just had to give it to you. SCP-6886-A hands Director Brown a blank DVD case. Whoop, I got a game of pool with Isakoka. Gotta run! 
SCP-6386-A takes a step back and de-manifests. What the hell? End of 1533. Closing statement. Afterwards, SCP-6386 number of instances expanded beyond garage sales to similar events such as auctions, theft stores, antique stores, used car lots, Marshall Carter and Dark Offense, Maffos. Document 6386-1 Document 6386-1 was located inside SCP-6386-486. The contents are listed below. Congratulations! You have been selected as the thousandth and final participant of the Olympian Heroic Item Distribution Data Test. Your garage sale has been given a special object with mysterious powers, and thanks to the help of you and 999 other civilians, the Olympian Heroic Item Distribution is moving out of its data test stage and on to the full release. It includes more locations, more premises from enemies, guard of protectors, merchants and thieves, new, more potent mystical items, and of course, more sheep. Sincerely, enemies. Date, June 18th, 2018, 2052, from Senior Researcher Johnson. Subject, SCP-6386. Look, we have a problem. Do you know how many SCP-6386 number objects we have in custody? Of course you do, just over 500. If document 6386-1 is to be believed, there are over 500 more out of Foundation custody, and more are appearing every day. More places, more countries, more civilians. Just this week, a dragon egg in Beijing, a flying sword and mug traffic, and a 100,000 calorie energy bar from Paris. That last one's no joke. Let's face the facts. This needs to be stopped sooner rather than later. Wrapping up the Capital 13 won't help either. I propose the creation of Professional Task Force Gamma 28, Harris Battalion, to locate, deter, and, if necessary, kill or otherwise incapacitate SCP-6386-A. I have attached the formation form beneath. Please consider carefully. Sincerely, Researcher Johnson. Petition for formation of new MTF. Designation, Professional Task Force Gamma 29, Harris Battalion. Classification, Check 2. Combat, Tracking. Mission Statement. Professional Task Force Gamma 29, Harris Battalion, will attempt to locate SCP-6386-A and the third of creation of SCP-6386 number of objects by any means necessary. Task Force Organization. The task force will be composed of 24 field agents that regularly monitor garage sales with the help of MTF Kappa-12 bargain hunters and track any appearances of SCP-6386-A hosting their own sting garage sales if necessary. It will be led by two senior field agents, each with their own unit of 12 agents. PTF Gamma 28 will be under the command of Senior Researcher Johnson and will get their assignment directly from them. Personnel The main force of the PTF will be composed of 24 field agents recruited from MTFs with either tracking or combat experience, specifically against armaturgists or reality benders. For example, MTF Lambda 5 White Rabbit, MTF New 7 Hammer Down, or MTF Beta 777 Hectic Spear Agents with Class 1 or 2 VRD bending abilities and orthometric abilities will be greatly beneficial for the creation of this team, although not strictly necessary. Two senior field agents from similar backgrounds and experience with leading MTF or MTF squadrons will also be necessary. Each senior field agent will control a squadron of 12 field agents. Specialized Equipment PTF Camera 28 will require access to worldwide transport, including, but not limited to, helicopters, jets, Humvees, armored attack vehicles, and ATVs. Professional Task Force 
Gamma 28 will also need access to Foundation satellites for the purpose of tracking SCP-6386-A and SCP-6386-A objects. Each individual number of Gamma 28 will also require a heavy arms tactical kit, a GI survival kit in case of emergencies, and one WSRA urbanized granted reality anchor. Date June 21st, 2018. To Senior Researcher Johnson. From 052. Subject regarding SCP 6386. Mix Johnson, I have taken your proposal into consideration. SCP-6386 is a growing concern. However, the budget remains an issue. I am instead granting you control of one squadron of five agents and one senior field agent. Transportation will also be limited as of further notice. If deemed necessary, PTF Gamma 28 will expand to the full parameters outlined in your petition. You may handpick the members of your squadron from any task force under Foundation control. I will expect you to take full responsibility for any failures this team may cause. Sincerely, 052.